Selective Catalyst Reduction Technology, otherwise known as SCR, was first introduced in the 1970s and is often found in power plants, marine vessels and heavy-duty vehicles. It is one of the most cost and fuel effective ways of reducing nitrogen oxide and nitrogen dioxide, otherwise known as NOx, emissions. SCR technology has become increasingly common in light passenger vehicles following the introduction of the Euro 6 emission standards in 2015. These standards cut permitted NOx emissions by more than 50%. SCR technology can reduce a vehicle's NOx emissions by up to 90%, while also reducing hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and particulate matter emissions. SCR technology injects a liquid reductant agent through a special catalyst into the exhaust stream of the vehicle. The reductant is usually automotive grade urea, commonly referred to as diesel exhaust fluid or DEF. The most common brand of DEF is AdBlue. The exhaust systems of vehicles equipped with SCR technology vary. Regardless of the design of the system, they will all apply the same principles which are their oxidation, reduction and filtration supported by DEF injection into the exhaust stream are necessary to treat the vehicle's tailpipe emissions. For example, untreated diesel exhaust gases produced by internal combustion may travel from the engine to an oxidation catalyst. This facilitates a reduction in hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide, plus oxidation of nitrogen oxide to nitrogen dioxide. DEF may then be injected into the exhaust, upstream of the SCR catalyst. SCR catalysts are generally coated with either oxides of base metals such as vanadium or zeolites of copper or iron. The DEF triggers a chemical reaction that converts NOx into nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. The ammonia in the DEF is highly reactive with NOx in the oxidising atmosphere of the vehicle exhaust. This is where the selective part of the name comes from. The chemical reaction that takes place is known as a reduction, hence the name Selective Catalyst Reduction. The particulate matter within the exhaust gases may then be filtered and contained within a diesel particulate filter before the treated exhaust is eventually expelled from the vehicle's tailpipe. In some exhaust systems, the DPF also functions as the SER catalyst. It is important to note that DEF must always be present for a vehicle with an SCR system to continue to operate. When the fluid is getting low, the vehicle will present a warning light. Upon empty or very close to empty, the vehicle will refuse to start again once the engine has been turned off until the DEF is replenished.